I played the worst rated horror game on Steam. So you don't have to. Hello everybody, my name is Menace and welcome back. So here I was, searching high and low, trying to find the worst rated game on Steam. I came across a couple at the bottom of the list that was either a racing game or a co-op horror game that no one was playing. And I really wish the co-op horror game was the one that we were doing today, but not a single person out of 8 billion people in this world are playing that game. The reviews for that one were overwhelmingly negative. Maybe in the future I can get someone to play with me and we can do this part two, the worst, worst rated horror game on Steam. But just above that, we have been blessed to find the tower. After reading a few of these reviews, I decided I was gonna take on this project to see what makes this game so bad. And it's a couple dollars. What's the worst that could happen? I don't even have words to describe how bad this game actually is. They missed something, a lot of somethings. This has to be without doubt the worst game I have ever played in my entire life. You play the main character of the story named Elliot. You have been imprisoned for treason, although he doesn't seem to know this. We are told this through a series of texts on the screen. After we break free from the shackles we've been bound to, we continue through this linear path that is entirely full of invisible walls. It's almost as if your hitbox is bigger than the walls you were crawling through. I struggled to get through these giant caves for this reason alone. The buttons to the game would work intermittently. It took me about three times trying to get it to save. And then even when I would die in the game, it would start me back at the main menu and the save never took place. So I'd have to start the whole shit show over again. And might I add, the beginning, you can't skip. Whenever you pause it, the mouse seems to snap to the center of the screen and stay there until you exit the game and come back, then everything seems to work okay. Not to mention every time there's a piece of dialogue or every single time that there's a little tiny cutscene. The mouse seems to snap to the center of the screen and stay there until you reset it and then you're good to go again. There was more effort put into the voice acting and the ambience than there was into the game itself. There's ladders and stairs that lead to nowhere. You have a guard that follows you around ready to kill you, but you can stand about 10 feet away from him and he won't even notice you exist. You can even crouch right beside him and he'll walk right by you like you're not even there. Sure, the voice acting wasn't bad when it would actually work. I found it was clipping in and out for most of the time I was playing the game. The ambience really is astounding. They must have blown the budget on the audio and the writing. This is basically just a walking simulator and a terrible one at that. There is a large empty room at the end of the hall with waterfalls that are beautiful, might I add. I ran in circles desperate to find something, but I had wasted my time. Once you finally get the key to the holding cells, you come across a jail cell with someone lurking in the back, who then calls out your name. It's your wife. And then that's it. There's nothing else after that. There's just the credits that start to roll. And the only thing the credits say is The Tower, Episode 1. There's definitely a reason that this is the worst rated horror game on Steam, and it is comical at this point. I know we've played some bad games on this channel, but this one takes the cake. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 2 crocs out of 10, and the only reason it gets 2 crocs is because the voice acting and the ambience were not that bad. But the rest of it can f*** right off. I reached out to Steam to try to get myself a refund on this game, but due to the fact that I played longer than the allotted time, they had denied my request. I guess that's my fault for thinking there was more to this game. Cause I tried, I really did try. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that the credits to the game were longer than the game itself. Whoever made the mechanics or developed the world should be embarrassed. This is something that should be taken down from Steam and never see the light of day ever again. Let alone charge money for it. And I hope all of you watching heed my warning you wretched wench. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys be sure that you are taking care of yourselves because no one else is going to do it for you. Don't take shit from anybody. As always, my name is Menace and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.